how many moles of ammonia is present in 4.0 milliliters of 16.00 molar. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at what we were given. We were given 4.0 milliliters of solution, and that solution was 16.00 molar in NH3. <clears throat> when I see a concentration unit, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate it into its uh, individual units. So 16.00 molar becomes 16.00 moles of NH3 per one liter of solution. By separating out concentration units, you can see that a concentration unit actually has two units associated with it, whereas the 4.0 milliliters of solution had only one unit associated with it. When beginning a stoichiometric calculation, if possible, I always try to begin with something that has only one unit associated with it. So I'll want to convert that 4.0 milliliters of solution into <clears throat> moles of an H3. Okay, so I'm going to begin with the 4.0 milliliters of solution. The first thing I notice is I've got milliliters and I have moles. Anytime I have a volume unit and moles, I automatically think about molarity as my conversion factor, especially if the substance is the is the substances are solution and the solute within the solution. Now, the next thing I notice though is if I have volume and moles, I want to look at the molarity, but the molarity has liters as its unit of volume, not milliliters. So one of the first things I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to convert that milliliters into liters. To do so, there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. The milliliters are placed in the denominator so that the unit and the substance cancels out, leaving liters of solution. Now that I have it in liters of solution, I can actually use the molarity. So it's 16.00 moles of ammonia in one liter of solution. The liters are placed in the denominator so that the unit and the substance will cancel out, leaving moles of ammonia. Since moles of ammonia is what I wanted to solve for, I'm ready to form this calculation. So you have 4 divided by 1,000 times 16, and you get 0 0.064. Now, we should always record our answer to the correct number of significant digits. This is multiplication and division. According to the rules of multiplication and division, your answer will have the same number of significant digits as the measurement with fewest. 4.0 milliliters has two significant digits because zeros at the end of the number after the decimal are significant. One liter of solution for the metric prefix conversion factor is an exact number and therefore it has an unlimited number of significant digits. 1,000 milliliters from the um, metric prefix system is also an exact number and therefore it has an unlimited number of significant digits. 16.00 moles has four significant digits because zeros at the end of the number after the decimal are significant. And the one liter of solution for the molarity is an exact number, and therefore it has an unlimited number of significant digits. So you have two significant digits times an unlimited number of significant digits, divided by an unlimited number of significant digits, times four significant digits, divided by an unlimited number of significant digits. The measurement with the fewest had two significant digits, and therefore your answer should have two significant digits, and you would therefore record your answer as 0 0.064 moles of ammonia.